we are sometimes their only support system. They don't have a voice until sometimes we come along and are their advocate. Our cases don't always turn out the way we'd hoped or wished for, but when you have that one client that you know that you've made a positive difference in their lives, then it's all worth it. It feels like family. Whenever you are going to an elderly person, it feels like that could be my mother, that could be my, my dad, that could be my grandmother. So that connection of feeling that I'm helping somebody relating to me makes me wake up every day with motivation to go and do it again and again. You know, we go back and we see these people every year. We, you know, we get calls in between now and then um, to adjust things sometimes, but being able to actually see the difference that you make, um, sometimes you're the only person these people talk to. Um, and sometimes you're just the person that was able to help out the, with the one little thing that they needed. And so you can actually see the difference that you make. Being of service to other people. You know, basically that's what it boils down to me, is that I do this job and I'm of service to other people, at least for eight hours a day, five days a week. And that's the rent I pay for my space here. So I, I help people, I, I help them change their lives, I give them, I think, the tools they need to be a success. And that to me is invaluable. That makes me feel really good about myself. I could work at a bank, I could uh, this, that, I could do IT probably if I wanted to. But at the end of the day, I, I kind of feel like that I've done something. You know, you get that here. It's important to me that there's a mission behind what we do. And here the mission is making sure we're protecting and advocating for people who can't. And you have to care to be able to do that.